question 2.5, we asked to find the rates using the given units. So these are the units here in the question. And on the right here, these are the different rates. Rates are just two different quantities. So one quantity per another quantity. So, for example, kilometers per hour, cents per kilogram, cents per 100 gram. So the first question is saying we've got 238 kilometers traveled in two hours. So I'm going to write this above. We're basically dealing with the rate kilometers and we want it per hours but at the moment we've got 238 kilometers and that's in two hours but it wants it per hour which is per one hour so basically all we have to do is divide the numerator and the denominator by two divide the denominator by two that's going to give us the one and then 238 uh, divided by two be pretty straightforward. Uh, carry the one. It's going to give us 119. So that means that we've actually got 119 kilometers, and the fraction line represents a per per one hour. So that's the first answer. 119 kilometers. Oh, I don't actually have to write that. That's already been given. So I could just write the actual value 119, but it's kilometers per hour. Then moving on to 2.5.2, .2, we have a 15 kilogram bag of potatoes costing 12 rand 75, but the the um, rate that they want is actually a different unit. It's C, which stands for cents, cents per kilogram. Um, so we actually have the monetary part first and then the weight second. So I'm just going to clear some space quickly. Um, so sorry, let me just write that back in there. That's 119. So we actually want it as cents per kilogram. Now what we've currently got is we've got 12 rand 75 cents, and that's for 15 kilograms. So we're going to actually have to do two things here. First of all, I'm going to convert 12 rand 75 to convert rands to cents. It's just they're 100 cents in a rand, so it means I've got to multiply by 100, which means I've got to move the, the decimal point two places to the right. So 12 rand 75 is the same thing as 1,275 cents over 15 kilograms, but it wants it per one kilogram. So what I'm going to have to do is divide the denominator and the numerator by 15. So 15 divided by 15 is going to give me one. And then just on the side here, this might take a little bit of time, we've got to do 1,275 divided by 15. 15 doesn't go into 1, 15 doesn't go into 12. 15 goes into 127 eight times. Um, it goes in eight times and it'll have a remainder of 7, so just a little 7 there. And then 15 goes into 75 five times. So that must mean that if you divide 1,275 by 15, you're left with 85. And we now have got our correct rate. We've got cents per kilogram. So the answer there is going to be 85. And then finally, we're going to look at um, the last one, 2.5.3. NUS costing 24 and 50 cents per kilogram. And again, it wants it in cents, not in rands, cents, but here it wants it per 100 grams. Okay, so I'm going to just, once again, just erase. Uh, so writing our answers back in, we had 119 and we had 85. But here we want um, cents per 100 grams. I just prefer to, to work in the fraction format. It just makes sense. Rates to me makes a lot more sense because fractions is about a relationship between two numbers and a rate is a relationship between two quantities. So what we have, um, again, we've got the 2450, which is actually rands. So it's 2450. Maybe I should just write that in there just to make it more clear. Per, um, and that's per one kilogram. So we don't want either of those particular units, so we're going to have to do a conversion. 24 and 50 is actually just 2,450 cents, 
and we know that kilogram is 1,000 grams because we need to be working with grams. Kilo stands, kilo means 1,000, so kilogram is 1,000 grams. Um, but we don't want it to be uh, 1,000, we actually want it to be 100. So the way I'm going to convert to 100 from 1,000 is just divide by 10. What I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top, so I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 10. And then I'm going to have 245 uh, cents per 100 grams. So that actually, the numerator there is my answer, 245. And that's cents per 100 grams. And we're done.